Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Bags and Design by Cambers. To my existing subscribers, to my new subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your um, men purse. Um, this is a modern men purse and guys, please watch this tutorial to the end for better understanding. And also this video, it's going to be in two phases. So this is the part one of this video. It is well detailed. So please, guys, watch out for the next video. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also please click on the notification button, like, comment, share my videos. Thank you. I love you all. Guys, this is a pattern for um, the pores. So the length is 8 while the width is um, 10 inches. So at the bottom, you have to take a 0 0.5 um, length, 0 0.5 width out of um, the measurements. As you can see right now, a 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. So you just have to cut it out with your scissors. And after that, so I'm just going to put um, place my pattern. I'm just going to place it on my pure leather material. I'm making use of a black pure leather original leather so i'm just gonna place it on it and you know just sketch it out cut it and you know start making my bag Now I'm done sketching, so I'm just using my scissors to cut out, you know, the material, just cutting it out. So guys, um, you know, after cutting out our leather, we're still going to use this um, same pattern to cut out the um, lining. But guys, I'm not going to be bringing out the 0 0.5 inch from um, the lining. So I'm just going to cut it out. You guys have seen, can see it right now, my lining and my leather. So I'm just going to proceed to the um, next um, stage, which is... Um, the design I'll be adding to the bottom of the leather. Now the next thing is to bring out the, um, the material of the long uh, undo, the long strap. So basically guys, this is the part 10. I'll be making it up. So um, the length for it is 15.5 inches, you know, and the width for it, I'll be making it of 1.5 inches. So I'm just going to fold that and all that. So. <laughs> This is the leather bird I'll be adding to um, where my zip is going to be sitting. So um, the width is 0 0.5 while the length is 9 inches. So I'm just going to gum it right here and you know just cover it up with my leather and you know stitch my um, zip on it. So that will be the first thing I'll be doing right now. 
guys don't forget the um, width of this bag the measurement is 10 inches so I'm just taking 9 inches out of 10 so which means I have um, half inch left half inch right so um, at the middle I have 9 inches so that is when my um, I'm having my leather board right now so I'm just gonna place my leather on top of the leather board you know just just to make um, I don't know <laughs> Just to make it look nice, you know, that is why I'm, you know, adding my leather bird to it. Now I'll be working um, with the inner pocket. The pocket that is going to be outside of. Uh, the leather so um, basically guys this is the pattern for the zip so I'll be you know putting my leather board at the measurement please you know the length is two inches so I will leave some adherence at the you know at the both side then I'm just gonna go my pattern right here and after doing that i'm gonna split it at the middle then you know fold the leather you know fold it well and stitch So guys um this is a zip handle so i have my pattern here with me i've drawn um you know the pattern on my leather so i'm just gonna you know apply gum to it and then i'm just gonna put it inside my zip um holder and i'm just gonna you know just glue everything together i'm gonna be adding a little board to it to make it look you know uh, fame and beautiful so I'll be attaching my chipboard to it
guys I'm sure folding um, the letters together so um, the next thing is to um, make my deering leather so I'll be adding leather bird to it to make it look you know solid and you know very very lovely so basically guys just apply gum to it and then I'm just gonna put my leather bird inside glue them together you know just fold the leather on top of the um, leather bird Right now what I'm doing is um, you know gluing the um, leather board for the long strap so I'm just gumming them together you know so after doing that then I'm just gonna go into this, um, the next step. So guys, I'm done, you know, gumming everything together, cutting out the materials. Now, what I'm doing now is to start stitching everything together. So right now, I'm stitching the um, zip order. So I'm stitching everything, stitching the first and the second zip order together. Guys, I'm true stitching the um, older, so I'm just gonna take, you know, just put, uh, put the zip, the zip teeth inside the zip cloth, and I'm just gonna place it on my leather board for the, or uh, um, my leather board for kids. So <laughs> I'm just gonna place it there, and then I'm just gonna stitch. Still working on the outside um, pockets, the back pockets of the bag. So right now I'm just going to put a little bit of gum to my zip and I'm just going to glue it on top of the leather bird and after that then I'm just going to cut out, uh, I've already cut it out the um, the pockets, the lining pockets so I'm just going to place it on top of um, my zip and then I'm just gonna stitch
guys this is the bottom design so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of gorm and then i'm just gonna gum them together and after that then i'm just gonna use my flat bed machine to stitch the design you know up and the design at the bottom part so i'm just gonna use my flat bed machine to stitch them together with the leather guys time to stitch my pockets guys you need to be very very careful you know very very careful when you're stitching um your pocket parts most especially um the outer pocket you have to be very very careful you have to know how to um make it neat you know so um actually stitching the pocket aspects and um i'll be making a video about you know how to stitch your pockets neatly you know so guys please make sure you watch every of my tutorials and that is why you have to always click on your um you know your notification bell so that you can get updates you know interesting updates from me so guys um you know this tutorial is you know almost coming to an end please guys like i said make sure you watch the second phase of this video i mean it's gonna be full detailed full detailed you know you guys are going to see everything you'll be able to learn a lot from it please you know make sure you watch the second phase of this video guys this tutorial has come to an end <laughs> i hope you guys are able to learn one or two things from this part and i hope you guys will be able to do it better than what i am doing right now guys please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and also guys please click on the notification button like comment my videos share my videos you know thank you guys i love you all and god bless you